Hey everybody, Andy Bob here. Um, doing a haul video, but I want to do it a little bit different than what you normally see and what I, I'm probably going to do on many others and we'll see how this one goes. But um, what I'm going to do is I, I hit a few yard sales today. It's very early in the season. I just happened to be out. I was doing some, <clears throat> excuse me, some retail arbitrage and saw a few yard sales, so I stopped at them. And then there was another one that was an estate sale, so I stopped at that one. But I have not looked up these items and I didn't look them up. Um, from the estate sale, the the yard sale that I went to, I only got one thing I bought. It's an old camera. Uh, I paid a buck for it. It's an old Minolta, so I figured for a dollar at least parts or anything else can be worth it, worth a shot. I didn't even look that one up. I didn't look these up on my phone, so I don't really know what they're worth. Um, I got the price was right on them. I took a stab in the dark. I it was the estate sale I went to. It wasn't really it wasn't professionally run. It was family that was doing it, so. I kind of just took a chance on it. Normally I wouldn't do that, but the price was really, felt like it was a good price for this. So what I want to do in this video is when I go through the things, I want to see how much you guys think I paid for it, how much you would pay for it, and then how much you think it's worth. And do this before you go look it up online. So, I mean, it's up to you if you're going to cheat or not, but I just want to see how close everybody gets to the numbers, and I'll do a follow-up update video on it, maybe see how many views and stuff again, how much activity it gets, but I might do it in a couple weeks, maybe, it just depends, so we'll see how it goes, but I want to show you what all I got. I got some quality stuff, and the stuff that I got, I know some of it is decent, but I just don't know enough about it, but I took a chance on it anyways, so let me show you what I got. This first thing I got is this little vase, or... I don't think it's not really a base. It looks like a base, I guess, but I don't know. It's a uh, Satsuma, and then on the bottom it says Arn Art Imports Incorporated, 1979. So I don't know. It looked interesting to me. I didn't. I know zero about it yet, but it was worth taking a shot on to me. So that's the first thing I got, or one of the things I got from the estate sale. The other stuff I got, I got a lot of silver, and I know silver's worth some stuff, but I'm not sure exactly how to read all of it. I know if it's stamped specifically, how I can tell on it, but this one is got the stamp um, Oneida, and I know that's on a lot of uh, silverware. I don't know if this is actual silver, silver plate, if it's just regular stainless steel. I just don't know. It does have the lions there, but I I don't know. And it's got on the front here. I'll show you the front. It's got this really neat ornate engraving stuff. But it's a big plate. It's got a giant burn mark here. I have no idea what happened there, but I'm assuming that this was probably used at like Thanksgiving or something like that. But it's pretty it's pretty heavy, so it's pro my guess is it's probably some type of stainless silver plated metal. This one. Now this one, it could be more of a tin. Um, it's a smaller bowl. There, I don't, I don't see any markings on it at all. But it is thinner, and it, I mean, it could possibly be silver. I haven't tested any of this, so I don't know. Took a shot on it. This one here. Now this one, I almost want to say that's a lead, but it's another one of these little serving dish platter plate thing but this one I do know this name is Wilton I don't know how well you guys can see that it says Wilton that's stamped there it says uh, the Wilton company so I don't know how much that's worth I have no idea didn't look it up then these came as a set here I'll show you the I'll show you the platter first and this is similar to that bowl. It does have some pretty neat engraving on it. This is pretty light, so I mean, it's possible that it's tin. It's probably be cool if it's silver. I really don't know. And then these came in it, and these are what caught my attention at first. This I think might really be silver, and that would be really awesome. But here it says Sheridan Silver. Nope, it's not EPS. EPS, someone correct me if I'm wrong, is electroplated silver. Anyways, there might it might be worth something. I don't know. It's cool. And it's missing the top to it, so who knows. 
Maybe you can see that one better. And this one does have the top to it. And the other stuff I got, uh, I picked this up. <laughs> I don't know how in the world. This was a throw in. It's John Wayne, for you guys that don't know. I wasn't going to buy this, but she kind of threw it in. So I was like, yeah, fine, I'll take it. it really, didn't, it, Honestly, it didn't cost me anything. It says something litho in USA. Wayne slash hat. And then down here, it does say Porter Publications 1981. I know that po some posters can go for decent money. I mean, this one, I mean, it's still in its original. So, I don't know. We'll see. And the other thing I got, I bundled all this stuff together. So, it's a John Wayne plate. And there's a lot of John Wayne collectors out there. Plates don't normally go for much. This has got uh, stuff on the back here. This is a tribute to John Wayne, the Man of the Golden West by Andre Sazabo, a historical first edition collector's plate and official tribute to America's best loved actor. Plate number, copyright 1979. It's got another copyright underneath 1976. But what was a little bit different about this plate is that it is in this like frame, this wooden frame. And you don't see that too often, so I thought it was kind of neat. It's worth a stab. And it came with this little stand here. So it was sitting on the stand. If it's not worth anything, I may just give it to my dad. Who knows? He's a big John Wayne fan. This, again, is very big. And this is this is the last thing I got. And it all came with it. It is a giant oil painting. I thought, if nothing else, that frame is in really good shape. And it's a really nice frame. So that by itself might be worth something. And that that is clearly, it's an original, I don't know much about painting, but that, that's clearly an original oil, because you can see the raised markings on it. And it does have a name here. It says W, I think it says Norwood. That's what it looks like to me. You tell me. What does that say? Alright, so who knows? what it's worth. It is a nice painting, I will say that. And I, I, I'll tell you, I didn't pay much for all of this. So that's your little hint. But here's the back of it. It's a, it is regular real canvas. So that by itself, if nothing else, I got a really nice frame. So there's the, uh, the haul video. So you guys tell me what you think that I paid for it. Um, what do you think I paid for it, uh, how much you think it's worth, and what you guys would have paid for it, things along those lines. I want to see what your guys' comments are. Um, I need to do some some uh, contests here shortly. That'd be kind of fun to do. I haven't done any of those yet. So, All right, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to see uh, right down here in the comments, post and see what uh, how close we can get. And hope everyone's doing well out there. Get geared up because... Yard sale season is coming around, especially I'm in the Midwest, and, and it's April 18th today, and normally you don't see too many yard sales, but it's like 70 and sunny out today, so I just happened to run into like four of them. Nothing major out yet, but it was nice after being, after this winter especially, and how bad it was to actually get out and, you know, go to a few yard sales, and that's just, I love going to yard sales. It's where you can really find some gems instead of fighting everybody at the thrift stores and stuff like that. You feel like you're in an exclusive club when you go to somebody's yard sale. So, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck and God bless.